This type of hydroponics divides by 10 the quantity of water needed to grow vegetables. It doesn't require any pesticides or chemicals, and you can be very productive in a very small surface. That's the reason why some people started to use this technique in arid places on urban areas. We have been on the rooftops of Singapore to meet Darren and learn how to do. At Low Tech Lab, we travel the world to find the best low tech. Inventions that are useful, sustainable and accessible to all. We are having a hydroponics farm on top of a rooftop. It just happens that this rooftop happens to be on top of a commercial shopping area here in Singapore. Yep. And uh, what we're doing is we are actually having a farm that's growing vegetables for the community. Singapore is a very unique uh, country. We import about 90% of the food, which means that our local farmers only produce about 10% of the food. So this means that most of our food is uh, brought from overseas and this has a significant impact on our food security as well as the carbon footprint because of all the food miles that's travelled. So by having farms close to people, what it, this means is that we can cut down on the distance that food needs to travel before it reaches the consumers. On top of that, consumers also get to have fresher vegetables and definitely that's uh, veg uh, healthier vegetables. How much a rooftop like that produce? Well, we are on a very small uh, sort of rooftop. So that's a, we have about 3,000 square feet. And within this 3,000 square feet of land, we can grow about 12,000 vegetables at any one time. Um, so as a, as a rooftop farm, we believe that we are an integral part of the community. And this, this means that instead of, or rather on top of just providing food for the community, we also make sure that we provide labor to the community. So we look, at, look towards the people that are living around us for the manpower. We work with uh, people with disabilities. We try and hire retirees. And we try and make ourselves as inclusive of a work environment as possible so that everybody can now work on a farm and contribute meaningfully to the produce that is then sold to the community. And uh, I certainly hope that wherever we see an empty rooftop, we can always look and see how it can be converted into something meaningful for the community. I'll show you how to make low-tech hydroponics. Actually, this is like a small ecosystem. You mix organic waste into this water. This is a biofilter where bacteria transform those organic waste into nutrients. This water is pumped up to feed the plants. And it goes down through this filter back into the biofilter.
It's very well adapted for leafy vegetables. I prefer those you can plant directly like morning glory or mint or basil or spinach or sweet potato leaves. Just remove the lowest leaves and plant it. To feed the plants, you have to add some organic waste. For example, compost juice. I like growing my own vegetables because when you eat it so fresh, it keeps all its vitamins. In 2050, we will be 9 billion people in the world, 80% living in urban areas. Growing highly nutritious organic food in such a small surface looks like a good idea.